How badly the pandemic affected the global education? Let's find out. I was going through some stats and I was shocked. I was shocked to see the impact of this pandemic on children educators and even on global human development. Take a look at this stat for example. The low and the lower middle income countries are the worst affected. Look at the percentage fall of remuneration for full-time teachers as compared to that of the part-time. And this is the biggest shocker. Look at the negative fall of the human development globally. This is sad and it makes me think about what we can do now. My pet was also in shock looking at my sad face. Most of the educational institutions around the world took up some business tools not meant for education for their online classes. And the rest is history. Chats, you disable the chats. Both, uh, kuch ho chats. Miss, chats, you disable the chats. What is Miss, chats, check the chats. Chats, chats. But I know there is one school that expanded during the pandemic. The reason? They had their own learning technology and infrastructure which can be accessed from anywhere. So, even though the world went into a lockdown mode, the school and their learning process went on normally. To know more about the process, I went to Tamarind Tree School, situated approximately 100 km from the boundaries of the Mumbai city, in a place called Dhanu Road. I interacted with Chirag, Michelle and Hemant and tried my best to understand what exactly they did during the pandemic. I was lucky enough to meet some school children as well. And here is what they have to say. What we did as soon as the lockdown was announced is we released our platforms globally. We have two platforms driven from the open source technologies. One is an educational LMS where we host content and children can come at their own free will, take courses, take quizzes, videos and so on and access asynchronously. And the other is a live class platform where children can take live classes with a volunteer or a teacher. Both these platforms were made available. After a few months of this uh, experience in this kind of a, a digitally equipped space, uh, then the pandemic happened and uh, we were anyways ready with all the infrastructure. The only difference was that now the students were not coming on the campus. That's all. Uh, those who feared technology uh, in the past essentially feared uh, the fact that, you know, once the technology takes over, it is the commodification of education and the corporatization of the whole process of education becomes a reality and that's a scary uh, uh, situation i mean i must say that uh, however uh, the tamarindry experiment during the pandemic uh, told us one thing showed us one thing very very clearly that uh, you know even if you do not want to use or want to resist the corporate control over uh, educational technology, it is absolutely possible and it is as efficient as it can be. In lockdown, the school was closed. So we had to do online classes. So it was same like we have to log in to my, my big campus, but the difference was we have to do from home. So I think it was very satisfying that in all these months with this idea of that we coming together and students doing their self, you know, self-guided learning. I think that happened in spite of all these internet issues and it was fairly regular. And uh, they, they used these online resources, open educational resources. And I think as teachers, we should encourage our students into this kind of a regular practice using all of these resources that are available. I think that's important for us as teachers. So we believe this kind of a model is not going to end uh, irrespective. I mean, we hope the pandemic ends, but this is a model that's going to work in the future. We are more than happy and wanting to collaborate with other institutions, corporates, organizations who would like their volunteers to participate. And moreover, we want to get more needy children who are in a, unable to access live classes or good quality content on our platform, which is available free. We want more children and volunteers to access and use this platform. I think as teachers, we ourselves need to be learners. If teachers are not willing to learn new concepts and things, how will they inspire the young generation? Equal access to quality education being an important part of sustainable development goal, uh, the only way to achieve it is to ensure universal adoption of open educational resources. 
The Tamarindry experiment in my opinion has proved the efficacy of uh, open education technology beyond any doubt.